May I come in, sir? Please come. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Please Good morning. Thank you, sir. Let me start with your hobbies and your interests. Yes, sir. You said contemporary dance. Yes, sir. When we were younger, we knew only two kinds of dances, classical or folk. Now, I think there are 50 varieties. Correct? Yes, sir. Can you name some? Yes, sir. I said there are many dance forms like jazz, hip-hop and contemporary dance itself. And uh, sir, ballet dancing, belly dancing. Yes, sir. And now, dancing and exercising also seem to be merging together. Yes, sir. Correct? Yes, sir. What's that called? Sir, aerobics uh, and gymnastics. Uh. All right. Yes, sir. Uh, because you're a student of anthropology, let's take part anthropology, part history, part sociology. Based on this, can you in the Indian context, give me the evolution of dance as a form of entertainment. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, <clears throat> sir, there are classical dances in India, sir, which are take, uh, which used to take place at a gra grand events, and for example, Kathak or Kathakali, they represent the stories from Mahara, uh, Mahabharata and Ramayanas. And sir, there are tribal dances in our country, for example, Kalbelia and Ghumar. I'll ask you two questions here, fine. Yes, sir. One is that uh, we all know, anybody who has studied a bit of history knows that statue of a dancing girl in this valley. Yes, sir. Correct? Yes, sir. With one hand on the waist, etc. Et correct? Yes, sir. If you have seen a picture of that statue, what kind of dance does it indicate? Um, so there is a bending from three sides, so uh, maybe Bharat Natyam, if I am able to recollect it uh, properly. Yes, so yes. what I am saying is that do you think that classical dance forms might have originated from that time? Uh, <coughs> Correct? Yes, sir. And you mentioned Kathak. Yes, sir. Kathak is regarded to be one classical dance with some Islamic influence. Are you aware of that? Uh, sorry, sir, not much aware of this. Could you distinguish between a classical dance and a folk dance? Yes, sir. Uh, say classical dances are rule bound, whereas folk dances are not that much rule bound. Secondly, sir, class in classical dances they use they were uh, to celebrate grand events. For example, in the uh, for uh, for the king celebration, and secondly, sir, for, for the, uh, these folk dances and tribal dances are used to celebrate the harvest festivals. Uh, they are mainly uh, around the harvest uh, festivals. Uh, dancing in India, classical dances. Yes. Is it almost entirely female centric or is it sort of gender equal? Uh, sir, in my opinion, classical dances are, uh, they are gender equal, but there are some dances which uh, are specific to women. Uh, uh, in India, can a young lady make dancing a career? Uh, Yes, sir, because we have so many examples also. For example, Shakti Mohan, ma'am, uh, she is a contemporary dancer and uh, she is a judge of uh, many big reality shows also and other also like Geeta Kapoor, ma'am, etc. So, Would you have taken yoga as a career? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I see myself more as a uh, yoga practitioner. Uh, I worked as a yoga teacher but uh, what makes me really happy is uh, practicing yoga. So that's why I decided to practice yoga. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Dimple, mm. since you do yoga, so you astitva, you understand astitva? Chita, your being. Yes, sir. So <clears throat> what are the components of your being? Uh, so my personal uh, any any human being to that matter. Yes, sir. 
सर द कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ अ बींग्स कैन बी सर फर्स्टली द कॉपरेशन दे शो विद द फेलो फेलो ह्यूमन बींग्स देर इज टेम्पल्स द बॉडी ओके देन वन टेम्पल गोज टू स्लीप देर इज अ ड्रीम हु सीज द ड्रीम सनी Uh, mind. Mind. Yes, sir. So there is temple's body, there is temple's mind, and soul. And in the dream, she finds a wallet. She is deciding to take this wallet home or take it, give it to the police. Who is deciding? A soul, sir. Intellect. Yes, sir. Okay. So temple is the body, temple is mind, temple is intellect, and temple is soul. Out of hundred, how much body, how much mind, how much intellect, how much soul? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, I'll give. Uh, sir, I'll give twenty-five to all. They are all in equal. Yes, sir. Well, Vedant thinks differently. Vedant says one person body, three person mind, six person intellect, and ninety person soul. Okay. Now let's try to apply this knowledge. You are uh, district magistrate in Chhattisgarh. It's an excellent infected bed, and you want to influence the excellites. So, which out of these four would you try to influence so that you mainstream them? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I I will try to influence their intellect. And also uh, the mind. Yes, so these two things I'll focus upon. You can work on the soul, nothing like it, but that's that becomes difficult. Intellect and okay. Now let's look at Swachh uh, Bharat Abhiyan. People are not segregating the waste. What would you use? Yes, sir, uh, sir. Firstly, there should be a robust dot door to door col uh, collection of the waste. And at that, all those things will happen. Yeah. Out of these four, what will you use okay. to promote Swachh Bharat segregation of waste? Uh, sir, I will use uh, body as well as the. Uh, sir, I think I need all the four components for that uh, to make people more aware and uh, let them do uh, what is right uh, for uh, like clean Bharat. What we want uh, to achieve our dream of clean Bharat. Yeah. So basically, what we need is to to train the minds, but intellectually, you have to tell them why segregate. Yes, sir. So if you can convince people why segregation is necessary, then training the mind that you do it, body will execute the job, right? Yes. Anyway, now quickly tell tell me three schemes of government of India which have made a difference to the common man's life in last one decade. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, three schemes of government of India which has made a difference are uh, firstly, sir, M G Narega, Mahatma Gandhi. Last one decade. Uh, sir, launched in. Uh, yeah. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, firstly, Ujwala Yojana. Okay. And uh, secondly, P M Avas Yojana. Okay. And uh, thirdly, sir, Skill India Mission. What is the criteria for P M Avas Yojana? Yes, sir. Who can apply? Sir, uh, the house will be in the name of women. Uh, women head. Who can apply? What is the criteria to become eligible for it? Sir, uh, below poverty line. Uh, It's a socio-economic caste census. Yes, sir. The name should be in that. Okay. Okay, sir. Dimple, good morning. So, who are the chief? Exponents or main proponents who took yoga to the world. The so three main uh, proponents are Maharishi Patanjali ji, and uh, secondly, sir, uh, Matsendra Nath ji uh, at Gorakh Nath ji, uh, and thirdly, uh, sir, uh, Ramdev Baba. Okay, so multiple times. Or if we see across the, the world in many countries, there has been more of secularization of yoga. 
so is it good can we take up the uh, can the spirit of yoga be carried forward if we separate the dharmic aspects the faith aspects from the physical aspects uh, yes sir uh, yes sir so we have seen that many countries are uh, taking part in yoga for example recently in saudi arabia yoga competition has been held and uh, there are uh, countries in southeast asian countries which shows interest in yoga uh, sir yoga is more of a, is a, it is more spiritual and rather than being religious it is our own uh, uh, journey towards uh, uh, learning uh, uh, yoga so i think sir uh, it is good that it is secular so that uh, it can be more inclusive we can promote yoga as it is our ancient uh, uh, ancient civilizational value so what do you mean by spiritual sir uh, spiritual is when um, it is an individual quest for personal growth and well being so let's say surya namaskar so some don't want to resp- uh, or say pray to sun god then how can yoga be carried forward yes sir sir in surya namaskar there are 12 set of exercises and uh, some people perform only those set of exercises and while not chanting the mantra so then it becomes mere exercise or rather gymnastics or calisthenics something yes sir so but the benefit of asana can be ensured that their body is fit and uh, healthy oh. so fine uh, with respect to your graduation electronics so we have one of the largest skill set india with respect to the graduates of electronics but why did it take so long time to set up semiconductor industry yes sir so there are few reasons for that so firstly uh, semiconductor industry is a capital intensive sector secondly sir it is uh, power intensive also thirdly it requires huge amount of water and uh, thirdly sir skill uh, which is required to for the semiconductor fabrication is uh, also lacking in our country so we have recently so don't we have the capital don't we have the water Uh, sir earlier our focus was upon the welfare of our people because uh, cap- it is a uh, capital intensive sector so firstly we focus upon the well being or welfare of the people and now when we have seen the supply chain disruption after covid we have shifted our focus uh, towards the uh, semiconductor industry so one last question so read more about it there is something more you are missing with respect to that question So last question so with respect to uniform civil code and the criminal laws tell me three important ways how the women of india can get benefited uh, sir from ucc uh, yes sir uh, sir from ucc uh, women can get benefit firstly sir in a manner that there are polygamous marriages in our country and if we will make a ucc uniform civil code uh, for the marriages marriage law then the women get empowered yes sir so secondly sir uh, inheritance laws women will become equal co, co- partner uh, yes sir thirdly sir uh, adoption sir in adoption the uh, safety of women ch- uh, women child or girl child is important and if there is a common law for all okay. next criminal laws yes sir uh, so in criminal laws there is a provision of video recording of a, a victim of rape so sir it will provide the privacy to the women and she do not she does not have to go to the police station again and again and you can deep fakes or how do you safeguard it miss from getting misused so uh, deep fakes uh, sir technology we are using technology uh, okay. yes sir and secondly sir uh, through cr- criminal laws uh, so the use of technology is for, yes okay thank you read more what do you understand by in camera hearing in a court yes sir sir in camera hearing is where uh, the hearing is taking place in presence of cameras which uh, 
<laughs> in camera means ki it is not in open court but it is in the chamber of a particular sorry sir it does not mean ki it has to be recorded okay now could you please tell me the tribes which are existing in uh, leh ladakh area sir i beg your pardon sir you are a student of anthropology yes sir so i would like to know the tribes the name of the tribes which are to be found in the area of leh yes so um uh, sir uh, in i am not able to gujar bakarwal have you heard about them yes. okay sikkim sir in north east i can say uh, totally sikkim is important late as uh, uh, i can understand gujar bakarwal were there lepcha and bhutia have you heard yes sir what is the population within sikkim sir population i am not aware of. and achal these are the tribes uh, sir there are mishmi tribe and uh, so in arunachal pradesh we have uh, other tribes say abor tribes mishmi tribes uh, nishi tribe so my question is when these people are more ethnically closer to the chinese what is the look up towards india yes sir sir uh, said uh, the northeast uh, tribes uh, have mongoloid features which can be seen as more closer to uh, chinese counterpart but sir right now we do not have any uh, pure race so called a race because uh, right now there is a mixture of all races so they belong to uh, india and uh, uh, yes sir after China says that India has not been has not had the occasion to send any army or single soldier anywhere in the world yet. Everybody looks towards India. That is the cultural uh, imperialism which India is exercising. Have you heard of this statement? No. I uh, said due to the our diaspora present uh, all across the world. No, the people from say right up to Bali, there is a spread of Hindu. You are a student of anthropology. That's why I am asking you these questions. Yes. Okay. So China feels that we did not have had to the equation to send any soldier anywhere. Yet everybody looks up towards India. Why is it? Why is culturally so strong, India? That is called soft power. Yes, sir. Have you thought about it ever? sir uh, we are deeply rooted in our uh, ancient traditional uh, values and our civilizational values are so strong that uh, uh, at uh, still uh, at this time also we are still uh, we are still representing them uh, all across uh, and world follows it for example sir the vasudev kutumbakam value sir mm -hmm. this is was the motto of g20 also and india believes that uh, the world is one family and we have uh, one future also so sir uh, this is the reason why uh, in world looks at uh, uh, up to india could religion be one of the factors as a student of anthropology you must be knowing the importance of uh, religion so could religion be one of the factors for the cultural imperialism of india Uh, sir uh, there are so many uh, religion present in india for example uh, the worship of nature or the uh, there is a uh, monotheism or polytheism so uh, in my opinion we represent different uh, religious values which are accommodating with each other uh, in a in a one country itself so maybe uh, which is also one of the reason why we are uh, culti uh, culturally superior Do you think since uh, Buddha, this is the land of Buddha, could that be a reason for its influence amongst the whole of Southeast Asia, right up to Japan? Uh, yes, uh, sir. Because the values Buddhism shows, uh, for example, ahimsa, aste, or ste, uh, aparigraha. So these values are the core Indian values, Buddhist values, and also followed in Southeast Asian countries. so uh, we have like minded uh, uh, like minded countries uh, 
for example japan south korea and other south asian countries and we have converging interest also okay thank you uh, dimple dimple you, tell, you are practicing yoga yes. when we celebrate international yoga day sir we celebrate it on 21st of june and where we celebrated last year uh, sir last year our theme was uh, to uh, sir uh, we connected yoga with the sagar mala so sir it was the it was themed on that that antarctic to arctic yoga and uh, sagar mala yoga where our navies were sent in the indian ocean to as a yoga ambassadors uh, yoga ambassadors no, but uh, on that day where was our prime minister Sorry, sir. I'm not aware. Sir, Gujarat, where we. You are in UN. Okay, sir. And where India celebrating International Yoga Day? Sir, uh, Gujarat. Which country? Uh, sir, we made a world record uh, uh, in 2023 in Gujarat, uh, where so many uh, people. Uh, But where we celebrated International Yoga Day? In Jabalpur, in Madhya Pradesh. Okay, you just check it on there. You tell me, you have opted for IFS at five. Any reason for that? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, firstly, I want to serve in a in my country only, and secondly, sir, uh, my mother cannot travel. So, uh, in, if I'll be in India, so I'll be able to take care of her easily. So she will accompany you. That is the reason. Uh, sir, if she will not accompany me, also, then also I'll be able to. Uh... Nowadays, you can reach from foreign country early than within the country at many places. Yes, sir. Hmm? Travel is not a problem these days. Don't you think? Think so? Connectivity is much better now. Yes, sir. So connectivity is much better, but uh, still, I believe that in India, I'll be able to uh, manage things more easily. Okay, what is this Gati Shakti? Gati Shakti program. You have heard about it? What is that? Sir, Gati Shakti uh, portal will. Uh, it is a portal which has sixteen ministries in it. So, sir, earlier there was a divergence in the work of different ministries. There is no coordination. So, it is to enhance the coordination between the different ministries of our. Uh, there are some projects also mentioned. Can you name which areas they cover? Uh, sir, road, railways, uh, and energy sector. Sir, these. And who monitors it? Have you seen at at high level monitoring under Gati Shakti by a top person from the country? Uh, sir, if I'm not wrong, then Prime Minister. Uh, Have you seen any time he is monitoring on various projects from with different states and agencies of the government of India? So through Pragati, Pragati portal of the government of India. You tell me what are the four castes mentioned in our interim budget this time? Finance minister said four castes. Which are those? Yes, sir. Sir, these are farmers, youth, women, and poor. Okay, well, Dimple, one of our major economic problems is inequity. You know, yes. disparities are increasing. How would you tackle it? What is your view? How we can tackle it in a better way? Yes, sir. So to tackle the inequity, for example, uh, first we have to focus upon the education, uh, and secondly, uh, sir, reskilling, upskilling of our youth, and uh, thirdly, enhancing the ease of living, providing the sanitation facilities and water facilities, housing, which we are ensuring uh, also. Uh, the recent reports of Niti Aayog also shows that uh, only 11% poor are poor in our country. And uh, fourthly, sir, uh, yeah, you mentioned about 11%, but another report says it is less than 5%, which is correct. Yes, Have you heard consumption-based household survey? They say 5%, yes. and you are mentioning 11%. 11% under what index? Sir, as per the Niti Aayog's so multi-dimensional poverty index. So why is this disparity of five, almost five percent between the two? Uh, yes, sir. Sir, it is seen that the human, uh, the, the household consumption expenditure survey, that the uh, expenditure on the food has been reduced, and it earlier it was fifty percent, and now it is less than fifty percent. 
so that's why and from if we compare it from the tendulkar committee mark and the rangarajan committee mark it is shown that the, we have uh, we have remarkable remarkably done well so that's why the they concluded that we have reached the 5% poverty level it has to be further substantiated by some another survey are you aware uh, sir i am not aware okay thank you yes. we'll definitely do for all the best thank all the best thank you sir thank you sir